Good morning, folks. We had a special video come out last night and another coming tonight, a major one. This morning, let's run down space weather and some top science news, starting with our star, and we watch the central coronal hole crossing through. Several small pops and surges at the active regions and filaments, but no big flares or Earth-directed eruptions. With solar wind and geomagnetic conditions stable, our focus is on the sunspots. The grouping just right and south of center heliographic longitudes has maintained its benign magnetism and low activity output with only an impulsive little M-class flare this morning. No eruption from it. Putting focus on the incoming active region then, we not only have the solid looking sunspot crested into view, but there's at least one more cresting now at the limb. Eyes on that this week. Big earthquake struck Mexico yesterday at the Colima coastline. String of bigger ones continues across the globe with buildings swaying here and a few deaths reported. No tsunami was produced despite the warning issued by the officials. Quick stop at climate here as deeper looks at Antarctic ice cores are revealing that the amount of black carbon, which was presumed to have been increasing over the last several decades, simply cannot be found, implying perhaps a different explanation for modern climate parameters is required, you don't say. Well, here's an idea. Remember how the ozone hole was supposed to be healing, but in 2020 and 2021 there were record large ozone holes discovered, especially in Antarctica. Well, let's add 2022 to the list as well. Season hasn't even peaked, but the ozone marks are similar to the last two years, and I'll say it again. This is due to the weaker magnetic field of Earth, allowing more particle destruction of that layer. Another thing the weaker magnetic field does is allow for more ion escape during solar storms. Good study here on how the setup of Earth's magnetic field actually aids in the ion transport to be able to be lost during those events. But our top science article today comes with two gems. Further study of the Lechamp geomagnetic excursion, which was the worst of the last 100,000 years, and we can now once again add to the last disaster. It wasn't only the Younger Dryas climate catastrophe, not only the Gothenburg geomagnetic excursion, but evidence for Nova impact to Earth as well. It's not the first time we've seen it, but it's good to get it again. This group doesn't have the tools in the toolbox to realize it wasn't from some other star, it was our sun's micronova, but once again, all these major things happening at about the same time and there's only one way to get there. Last night you had this special video come out and no, it was not the simplest video we've ever made, but the character, the observations, and the physical implications of the galactic current sheet are paramount to understand, especially for when you watch tonight's video. This one is longer but simpler, and we'll go over the evidence of the solar micronova, why it's implied by the galactic astrophysics, required to make the models work and explain all the evidence, and we'll give an estimate of the casualty rate. Do not miss this one coming out at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific time today. We greatly appreciate your support. At the Shopify link below the video in the description box, you're going to find everything in our store 20% off. For a couple of you who had trouble on certain mobile devices, we are rectifying those issues with orders on the back end. This special goes for the rest of the month, applying to our books on the catastrophe, our kids science books, and our merchandise as well. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.